and welcome. My name is Michael Walker. I'm a business development and marketing consultant. I train and coach SMEs on how to scale up their businesses. So if you have a business, today is your day and this is your program that every time you should be watching. Now, I'm introducing a program, Business Matters. This is a program solely dedicated to how you can go about your businesses. From a business idea, doing business plans, partnerships, how to source finances for your businesses, and everything that will be needed in your business. So today we're going to start with our first lesson. This lesson is on entrepreneurship and self-employment. Now I know and understand these are, uh, these are terms that are used interchangeably, but they are not the same. For example, an entrepreneur. This is a person who is, is doing business and has a unique idea and a unique invention that he is doing or he is planning to do. So it's not the same as self-employed or just doing another business, but you have to have something which is unique. For example, in USA we have Uber. This is a transport, this is a transportation system that people use. In the past, people were just getting on the road, you stop a taxi, and you get in. But today, somebody had to make an application, a system, whereby you can just press, you choose your driver, and everywhere else where you want to go, and you'll be charged, and everything will be okay. That's an invention. Now, whoever did that, that's an entrepreneur. Now, there is this other part of self-employment. Now, this, what is it all about? Self-employment, for example, you know there are people who are experts, for example, graphic designers, business development experts, and anything that you have, these are people that are doing their own work. These are people that are doing a career that has been there. These are people operating in something which has been invented already. For example, a burger that does cakes. This is something that was there before. Now, these are people that are operating on their own. They have nothing uniqueness in that business, in that what they're doing. But these people are self-employed just because they love freedom. They are doing their own things. So if you're in that particular category, that means you are self-employed. If you get sick, your business will not move on. You are the product. You are the service. You are the business. That means you are self-employed. In this category, you do your stuff. You don't blame anyone else. If you do a mistake, it's on you. If you do substandard work, it's on you. So today, we wanted to look at that, at this particular moment, that topic. Now, the second topic will be on how you can generate a business idea. As I already told you, today I'm introducing the topic. The second topic that we are going to learn today or discuss is on how you can generate a business idea. Now, generating a business idea, you don't just wake up in a day and start anything else that you want to do. Or, I remember when I was starting out as a business consultant, people would come, hey Mr. Walker, I have 100,000, what business idea can I do? Now, that's a recipe for failure if you're going in that direction. Now, today we are going to look at some steps on how you can go about how to create a, uh, a business idea. For example, if I would want to do a business idea, to generate a business idea, the first thing that I would do, I would assess myself. What are the things that I love? What are the things that I'm good at? Because those particular things will help me on how I can do the business, which industry I should go. For example, if I'm, I'm not good at makeup, doing people makeup, making people look beautiful, now, these are part where I can dwell much on, on creating my idea. If you love clean environments, this is a part that should you focus. 
Now, that's the first thing. You should assess your strength the things you are good at, the things that you love. Because if you get an idea from the things that you love, then everything will be perfect. You'll be having the zeal, the dedication, the commitment in something that you love. Number two, I think one of the things that you should also follow is understanding, talk to family, talk to friends. These are people who love to complain, understand. Somebody will be saying, um, for example, in Malawi, we, we usually have blackouts. People will be complaining. Family will be complaining. People will be telling you. Now you are discovering an idea. Because people where people are talking, you should understand. Pay close attention. These are people that are giving you business ideas, potential business ideas. Now, after listening to them, understand. Then another part that you can go on is you try to sit down and write down the things that you have heard. Make sure you have selected something which you love, things which you are good at. It's an, aligned with something that is of your strength. After that, try it out. Try it out on your own before you center on that. If it's a success, continue doing it. If it's not a success, you have to stop and find another things. The reason why I said you should ask other people, they can even describe you, they can even tell you the things that they would want. Now, the reason why I said that, it's because when you listen to them, you get a better understanding of the businesses and you get a better understanding of their pain. Make sure if somebody is making a complaint of their problems that are meeting, that's to you that's a trait that's something that you can grasp and make a business out of it so we make businesses out of people's problems so if they are in pain you make sure you treat that and find a solution to that now that's how we generate business ideas so ladies and gentlemen that's what i had for you uh, today now before i finish you you can see i'm looking handsome. I've dressed properly. I'm looking like an executive. Now, I've been dressed by Carter's Apparel. These are people that are specialized in fashion, dressing you for the event, for the right event. If it's weddings, you're going to parties, or anything else. They have casual, decent for wedding things as well. So, make sure you give a shout out to them, and I'm going to give you their contact. Their contact is 088-53-72-587. I'm going to repeat. Their number is 088-53-72-587. Now, if you're going to do that, you'll find Carter's apparel. You're going to look handsome like me. <laughs>